Sarah, this is the inside of 39 Chief. It is left door goes to the first floor unit, right door goes to the second and third floor unit. <clears throat> it's a two unit house. So I'm going to just walk you through. These are the stairs leading up to the unit. We'll do a first floor video and then a second floor video. Nice white stairs. Walk in and you enter the, sorry, the living room. It's actually very spacious. Hopefully my video will do it justice here. It's quite large. I'm pan the living room from the other side. It's got a little extra bump out area that's really cute. You can certainly maybe put a desk or something in there. Uh, just to let you know it's it's pouring out today. So it, it's uh, not as bright as it would be because it's just very dark out. To my right, off the living room, is a great office. Because you're listening to me in. <laughs> off the living room is a really pretty three season porch. It's got uh, replacement windows in there. It's not separately heated, but it feels like it's insulated here. So if you keep the door open to the living room, I'm sure you'll get heat. Um, this could be a great office or just a play area. As you can see, about a block up is a main street with the whole thing is lined with shops, restaurants, there's a movie theater farther down. So I'll take you down that way, but it's within walking distance to a ton of stuff for the kids. And, and behind it to the right is a post office and also um, a train stop for the green line, oh, cool. the D line, oh, the cool. high speed line is in downtown. Yeah. So that's kind of handy to, to have nearby. Awesome. You know, even if you're not working downtown, it's nice um, if you want to go downtown to an event or yeah. something like that. You can easily walk home in five minutes from the train yeah. stop. Awesome. I'll get a little work. It's okay. So there is electrical out here, so there's some outlets if you want to plug in a computer. Or just a light. All right, we'll go back in the living room here. As you can see, a lot of windows. Very bright. All right, so that's the entry door. And right around the corner here, if you have your coat closet. So you have an area for coats, shoes, visual. So you do have a nice coat closet mud area. And this has a little extra space. If you need to put another coat rack or shoe bin or something here, there's more than enough space. Then these are the stairs leading up to the second floor. We'll go up there in a minute. All right, so back to the living room. From the living room, you have two options. You can go into the dining room, or you can take a right and go down the hall to the bedroom. So we're gonna go in the dining room. <laughs> so you have a nice size dining room. It's open. Have a china cabinet here. And uh, definitely way more than enough room for a nice big full-size dining area open. From the dining area, we go into the pantry. A lot of storage here. So now this kitchen is very new. Oh, I'm just gonna show you these. <clears throat> so it'll, you do have some pantry like shelves here and more shelving. So this is a larger closet, but you can add, add smaller shelves in there. This is like a something you can kind of modify. Across, you look at the other. Across for me is another cabinet. You have another pantry counter, and then you have shelving down below. This is a granite counter, and there's more shelving here. So certainly enough storage area. <clears throat> Walk into the kitchen. As you saw, the kitchen is new. Um, we have our closet cabinet space up there. You have an island. There is a little storage under the island. The island to me looks like you could comfortably fit three stools and people would have elbow room. You could fit four though as well. So say one, two, three, four. You could, you know, on nights you don't even want to have a formal dinner in the dining room. You could put four people here or just for breakfast. You guys can have your coffee and breakfast there. This is the counter. Um, with the dishwasher, upper cabinets, brand new fridge, doesn't even have the plastic taken off there. 
So we have stainless steel fridge and dishwasher, another row of cabinets here. This is your sink. And now this window looks over the side street. This window looks over the side street. So my car over there. All right, in the kitchen. So I'm gonna pan. It's nicely lit out. <clears throat> you have your gas stove here and your microwave. So the nice thing is you kind of have this left counter and this right counter for staging and chopping stuff. And off the back door here, this is just goes down to the basement area. It's basically just storage because you have laundry up in the unit. Um, but you can access it from down below. So if you wanted to bring bikes in from the backyard, you can just access that from the yard. All right, so we're on the porch. Not a huge porch, but it's good. And there's the yard. So I'll start from the side. The parking's there. And then you have a nice like little stone walkway here. It's landscape. And then the downstairs neighbor does have a table and a grill. And that is shared. So you can add your own grill another table, whatever you feel like in this area. Um, it is fenced in, so when you're down in the yard, you have the fence around you, people can't look in. There's another part to the yard that's a fire pit, actually. You can show the fire pit. <coughs> um, you know, I'm sure if you ask, there's room if they want to, you guys want to plant something, that's okay. These are the back stairs that goes into the basement. Looks like the porch just has a lot of leaves here and needs could use a coat of paint. So we can ask them if they'd be willing to put a coat of paint on that. All right, so back in inside from the back porch, your laundry is right here in the kitchen. Um, and so it looks like a pretty new LG washer and dryer. And this does close off. Sorry, I don't know exactly how to, I'm not gonna mess with those doors, but I think they're just off track. So that closes off so you wouldn't see that. All right. 